Coach Drinkwitz, Theo, welcome to North Texas. It's great to have you here for the 88th Goodyear Cotton Bowl Classic. Hope the trip in went well. Uh, Coach, we're going to start with you. Some opening comments about coming to the 88th Classic. Yeah, um, obviously want to extend a, a thank you to uh, the Cotton Bowl staff and all the people that made our entrance uh, very warm and welcoming. Um, obviously, it's a big-time bowl game when the when the police escort has uh, the Block M and the Mizzou colors. So very excited about the opportunity. I know our team uh, is appreciative of all the hospitality that's going to be displayed this week. Um, but more importantly, we're excited about playing this game. Obviously, a quality opponent in Ohio State and Coach Day know that they will be a, a, a tremendous challenge for us. And we look forward to preparing for that challenge throughout the week. Theo East Jr., welcome back to the Goodyear Cotton Bowl Classic. Welcome back to North Texas. Just a few comments about coming home to play this game. Oh, it's, it's, it's a blessing to be back in the home state, you know, to be able to perform in front of my family because, you know, Missouri is not that close to Texas. So, you know, they get a chance to actually come out. And, um, you know, it's going to be a fun, you know, we got a great matchup. And I think we're going to be well prepared for it. Again, great to have you both here. Okay, we're going to go to some questions here in the room first and then may have some more from the floor. So, Start with you. Bill Rabinowitz on the Columbus Dispatch, cover Ohio State. Uh, Eli, what does it mean to the program to be able to play in a, in a bowl of this stature against an opponent like Ohio State? Yeah, I mean, I think it's a, a great opportunity for us. You know, our players earned this opportunity this year with the, with the way they performed and to have the the – national stage against a blue blood opponent is a great opportunity for our program to continue to build to the brand that we want to be and the brand that we want to become. Any questions from the back of the room or Elizabeth, any questions? Okay. Not yet. Okay. Theo, talk about how you've impacted this program. Obviously you played in this game and, and you were here with, with Oklahoma, but how that experience is going to help you in this experience with these teammates in this game. Yeah, I believe I was just um, another leader that was added to the locker room, you know, a, a great brotherhood. You know, they brought me in, they, they showed me the ropes, and, you know, we, we, we just stuck together. And, like, I, I really give all the credit to the team. Like, I, I am my own person, of course. I'm my own leader, of course. And I, I brought something different to the team, but – it was the brotherhood that really just made everything fall into place. Can I speak to that real quick? Yeah. Yeah, I, I think uh, Theo brought a maturity uh, to the to the receiver room and a work ethic. Um, I think the other thing that Theo's done an outstanding job of uh, is showing how important practice is. We talk about practice execution equals game day reality, and it, it didn't matter if it was in spring football or fall camp. Uh, Theo practices every rep like it's the most important rep. And that type of mentality rubbed off on the rest of the offense and the rest of our team. I mean, every time we were doing one-on-ones, Theo was getting reps versus KAD versus Ennis and trying to get better. And those guys wouldn't didn't want to go against anybody else. And then you started to see, okay, Luther knew at that point, all right, I got to practice at this level. Mookie uh, practicing at that level. Brady practicing at that level. And I think everybody just realized – um, that we could raise our level of, of uh, competitive spirit. And I think that uh, is what Theo's greatest attribute, in my opinion, uh, is what he brought. That is a direct reflect of his leadership and, and a result of him coming here. Coach, just to follow up on that, uh, you know, talk about the practices and his influence on practice prep for the game so far and speak to, you know, how practice has gone in preparation yeah, campus. you know, it's been fast and furious. Obviously, we've spent, uh, you know, as soon as the game was announced, we actually, coaches spent a couple of weeks on the road recruiting. We tried to stay as sharp as we possibly could, um, you know, while doing finals, while having a recruiting weekend. We um, we went through a full game week prep, and then we gave our guys a break. Uh, they've been home to celebrate Christmas with their families the last two days, and we're all meeting up here. Uh, today would be like a typical Sunday for us, um, so we'll – uh, meet up, turn everybody loose uh, tonight, and then tomorrow we'll begin a normal game week prep and try to sharpen ourselves and get ready to play.